James Rouse was born on Maryland's eastern shore, the youngest of six children. He lost both parents when he was 16. The same year, the bank foreclosed on the family home. After high school, Jim hitchhiked to California, booked steerage on a ship to Honolulu, and studied a year at the University of Hawaii, living with his sister. He returned east to attend the University of Virginia for a year on scholarship, but with the Depression at its height, he quit and took a job parking cars at a garage in Baltimore. Rouse was accepted at the University of Maryland Knight Law School after only two years of college. His job at the garage often called for two shifts of more than 100 hours a week. After working for the Federal Housing Administration and the Title Guarantee Company, Jim began a mortgage banking business, which became the Rouse Company, a real estate development firm that pioneered the enclosed shopping mall in the 1950s and developed 40 such major retail centers. His concern for what he calls the sprawling growth of modern cities during the 60s gave Rouse the incentive to create the racially and economically integrated city of Columbia, Maryland. Later, his company developed festival marketplaces, Faneuil Hall Marketplace in Boston, Harbor Place in Baltimore's Inner Harbor, and many others. Following his retirement in 1979, Rouse and his wife Patty formed the Enterprise Foundation, which works with nonprofit neighborhood groups to provide fit and affordable housing for the very poor, and to help them work their way up and out of poverty into the mainstream of American life. Struck by the persistent, spreading deterioration of conditions at the bottom of our society, Rouse has launched a program to transform large neighborhoods in each of three cities, the first being Baltimore. All housing will be made fit and affordable, and, at the same time, schools, health care, day care, and drug prevention programs will be made effective to serve the people. He believes it will cost less to make a neighborhood livable than to pay the dreadful cost of sustaining the depressed and desolated conditions which mark our inner cities. For his continued fight for decent housing for all and his contributions to our urban landscape, we are proud to welcome into the Horatio Alger Association of Distinguished Americans, James W. Rouse.